Hello legacy students. So today we're going to look at how to simplify complex complex fractions, which in other words is like fractions exception because we're going to have fractions inside of fractions inside of fractions, which is going to be totally fun, but let's make sure we know how to do it first. So what does it mean to have complex fractions? Well complex fractions is one that has a fraction either in its numerator or its denominator or it could be in both the numerator and denominator. So basically they're going to look like something like this today. Either you're going to have three bars or only or four um, bars between your numerators and denominators. They are a little creepy looking, don't deny that, but we can simplify them with our new rational expression knowledge that we've been practicing. So how can we simplify them? So remember guys, fractions are just division problems rewritten in a new notation. So what we can do is rewrite all complex fraction problems as division problems with two fractions. And then we already know how to do the division problem. It changes to multiplication, I flip it, I can multiply, and then that works. So let's say I have the problem 5 6 divided by 2 thirds. This is the same problem. 5 6 divided by 2 thirds. All I did is took the first fraction right here, put it first, divided by the second fraction which was on the bottom. So all I then have to do is change to multiplication, so that means flipping that second fraction or taking the reciprocal, and then multiplying across and canceling of course because 15 over 12 I could simplify. So let's look with actual x's in it now. So I got 6x plus 9 over 5x divided by 2x plus 3 over 10. So what I'm going to first do is rewrite this into a division problem. So I'm going to have 6x plus 9 over 5x divided by 2x plus 3 over 10. All right, now since I do not have anything that's in the denominator, not the, no fractions in the, in the uh, numerator or denominator in either of these two fractions, right? So what I can now do is keep the first fraction and multiply by the reciprocal. So I'll multiply by 10 over 2x plus 3. Then guys, you're going to want to simplify and cancel what you can. So 6x plus 9, I see that there's a 3 present. So let's pull out the GCF of 3. It um, looks like I'll have 2x plus 3 left behind, right? Because 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times 3 is 9. So I can kind of cancel that off because that's what I got. Notice 2x plus 3 is diagonal to 2x plus 3. They can cancel off. Um, 10 and 5 can cancel. I'll be left with a 2 here and just a 1 there. I think that's it. Let's multiply across. So 3 times 2, that is 6, and then I'm left with an x. So my final answer for this particular problem would be 6 over x. Now, this is a much simpler complex fraction because we do not need to do anything to find to make it simpler. Let's look at our next one. Notice, guys, this one's a complex fraction because we have addition inside that we have fractions inside of fractions and that's just gross. So first of all, let's rewrite our problem. So we got x plus 2 divided by 1 plus 5 over x plus 6 over x squared. There we go. So now guys, what we're going to want to do is make this big gross long thing, we're going to want to make it so it has a numerator and denominator, not three pieces. So to do that, we've already practiced that, right? We practiced getting a common denominator. So my common denominator, if I look here, um, looks like x squared, right? LCD has to be x squared. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my first part here, and then I'm going to write three fractions I'll add it together with the x squared on the bottom, because that's my new common denominator that all three of these are ultimately going to have. So this one, it has a denominator of 1, so I do need to multiply by x squared. This one, it looks like I just need to multiply by an x, and this one, it already has an x squared, so I'll just multiply by 1. So 1 times x squared is x squared, 5 times x is 5x, and then that would just be 6. Now notice guys, I have the same denominator on all three. 
So now I can add the numerators together. So I will have x squared plus 5x plus 6 all over x squared. Now, I have a fraction divided by a fraction, not more than one fraction inside. So now I can go and change to multiplication and flip that baby around. So I'm going to have x squared plus 5x plus 6 on that denominator now. Hmm. I think that factors, doesn't it? x squared plus 5x plus 6. So my AC would be 6, 2, and 3. Right? That should give me 5. So this denominator is technically x plus 2, x plus 3. There we go. Uh, looks like I can cross off some stuff. Got x plus 2 on the top and the bottom. So I am left with my final answer, x squared over x plus 3. Not too bad, right? Lots of steps, but that's, that's the big thing, is there's tons and tons of steps we need to follow. Let's try our third example. So notice, guys, this one, I have a fraction inside here, so let's go ahead and set it up so that it says divide by. So I'm dividing by x squared plus 8x plus 16 over 1. Okay, um, this one does not need a least common denominator because there's no fractions inside of the fraction, but there is some fractions here. So it looks like my LCD, my lowest common denominator, it looks like it's just x, so my LCD should be x. So what I'm going to do is set up my two fractions with the denominator of x. Looks like we're subtracting. Hmm, need to multiply this one by x, so I'll get x squared. And then this will be minus 16, because I already had the x in the denominator. And I'll be still dividing by what I had. Number one. There we go. Um, let's combine these into 1. So x squared minus 16 over x divided by x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now, it looks like I can flip, because I have two fractions now. No fractions inside. So I'll have x squared minus 16 over x multiplied by 1 over x squared plus 8x plus 16. Lots of factoring here. I'm going to change color here just to show my factoring. So this should turn into x plus 4, x minus 4, right? Because x squared minus 16 is the difference of two squares. AC a 16, 8 and 2 won't give me 8. 4 and 4, right? That should give me 8. So I can make this x plus 4, x plus 4. So then one x plus 4 can cancel off with another x plus 4. And it looks like my final answer will be x plus 4, or x minus 4, excuse me, on the top and x, x plus 4 on the bottom. A lot better than that gross thing that we started with, right? Wow, let's try one of the hardest problems we can do. This one's a long one. There's a lot of stuff. It's heavy lifting on this one. So, looks like we got fractions inside of fractions on both the numerator and the denominator. So, here's what I recommend, guys. Let's write again. Let's write it so it looks nice. So we got x plus 4, or not even nice, but doesn't look as scary, right? x plus 4 divided by x plus 11 plus 48 over x minus 3. Okay? Um, let's work on this first part here. Let's worry about that second part after we finish the first part. So the first part, it looks like I need a common denominator of x plus 4, right? So we'll multiply this guy by x plus 4 and this guy by x plus 4. Okay, um, write my three fractions here with x plus 4 on the bottom. Oops, plus here, minus there. Okay, x times x plus 4, that will give me x squared plus 4x. This would be 4x plus 16, and then minus 1 right there, right? 
Um, let's put it all under 1. Then we'll finish this side of the problem. So I got x squared 4x plus 4x is 8x. Then 16 minus 1, so I got a 15 hanging out back there. Then x plus 4. So that is what that one is now. Let's go ahead and do other, the other fraction part here, or the denominator of our original. So it looks like x minus 3 is my least common denominator, so I need to multiply these two by x minus 3. Divide by, and then I'm going to write three fractions with x minus 3. Looks like we're adding all the way through on this one. There we go. x times x minus 3, that is x squared minus 3x. This is 11x minus 33, and then I'm adding 48 back there, right? Um, let's write that as divide. x squared, negative 3x plus 11x. Negative 3x plus 8x, right? Adding 8x. Negative 33 plus 48, that is a positive 15, I believe. Yeah, did some quick math in my head. Then we got x minus 3. Okay, uh, two fractions divided by each other. Let's flip it. So I got x squared plus 8x plus 15 over x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 3 over x squared plus 8x plus 15. Notice what happened, guys. We have two of the same quadratic trinomial on the top and the bottom. So don't even try factoring. You don't need to. Cross it off the top and the bottom. They turned into the same thing. So my final answer for this really ridiculous looking problem is a simple x minus 3 divided by x plus 4. The two denominators. Ain't that kind of funny? And that's the end of this video. See you later, Sabres.